Hi everyone, here I am back once again on my Healthy Hindustan YouTube series and this time I am going to take up again one of the most commonly asked questions by my clients, vitamin and mineral supplement and their timing. It is very important for us to know at what particular time in the day should we be consuming these vitamins. Many of us are taking many supplements and all these vitamin dietary supplements that we are consuming, sometimes we just out of ease of convenience take them together, say probably in the morning with breakfast or probably bedtime, all say four tablets together. But is that the most ideal way to consume vitamin and mineral supplementation? So let me begin with some of the most few common ones that are prescribed and consumed as over-the-counter supplements, such as a multivitamin supplement is the number one on my list. Multivitamin supplements is usually a combination of say all your B vitamins, your fat soluble vitamins, water soluble vitamins and few minerals like calcium, magnesium etc. Taking these supplements, taking a multivitamin supplement specifically, it's important to consume it with a meal because the absorption of these vitamins are best when it is consumed with a meal. Now what meal should we be consuming then? Most importantly, the first thing in the morning with your breakfast or with your first snack whenever you're breaking your meal. This is when it will give you the energy and it will last you through the day. And following up to a multivitamin are B vitamin supplements. B vitamin supplements are also all energy giving vitamins. And hence, rather than taking a B vitamin supplement, say for instance you are prescribed a host of B vitamin or a specific B vitamin, say like a B12, it's a useless consumption if you are going to take it at the end of the day. So take it first thing in the morning with a meal or somewhere in the middle of the day, say with a lunch. That is when it's going to give you again energy to last you through the day. Moving forward, a very very important supplement is calcium. Calcium is a supplement in the form of calcium carbonate and cal calcium citrate. Calcium however unfortunately does get its absorption affected in the presence of lot of fiber. Having said that, carbohydrate can be consumed, uh, sorry, carb calcium carbonate can be consumed or should be consumed rather with a meal but calcium citrate can be consumed with or without meal. But it's best to consume calcium empty stomach first thing in the morning that makes citrate a much better source of calcium for maximum absorption. Moving further, moving further from calcium is magnesium and an overlapping D3. Magnesium as a supplement by itself, many times it is consumed by athletes in order to get over any kind of muscular soreness because it helps a lot with muscle soreness. But magnesium works very well in sync with calcium. So taking a calcium magnesium combination is a great supplement. Again, take it when it is uninterrupted. However, zinc is also a supplement which is taken many times for recovery. It is a supplement that should however be taken little away from calcium and magnesium and not together because they can interfere with each other. D3 should best be consumed when it is with calcium and magnesium for maximum absorption. The timing for D3 again because D3 is a fat soluble vitamin. Vitamin D3 requires fat for absorption. Hence its best time of the day could be with a meal or with any fatty good fatty meal. Say for instance if you are eating an avocado then probably with your avocado for breakfast or if you are having a combination of nuts and seeds then with your nuts and seeds the D3 can be consumed. A specific time in the day for D3 is not critical as far as you are taking it with a healthy fatty meal. Next moving further we can go to a combination of iron and along with B12 and zinc. So folic acid, iron, zinc, B12 all of these work in good combination because they all are energy giving vitamins. Iron however specifically should like calcium should be consumed uninterrupted. Unfortunately, calcium and iron are highly competitive at the receptor site. So you want to make sure that you do not take the iron along with your calcium. So try and spread it. When I say empty stomach, it doesn't necessarily have to be first thing in the morning. A 2-3 hour window post a meal is also considered to be empty enough for taking one of these vitamin supplements. Going on with omega-3. Omega-3 is most commonly consumed uh, as an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant supplement post-workout specifically. It's not something that I would prescribe on a daily basis to everybody. But if you are consuming Omega-3, again, take it with a meal. Take it at the end of the day because that's when it will work best to work on any kind of inflammation in your body. 
And lastly is probiotics. Probiotics these days is most commonly consumed because it helps with many gut issues that people are facing. It's a great supplement to be introduced because everybody has a weakened gut when we are eating out or we are having alcohol for instance or a lot of caffeine in our diet. Probiotics however is a supplement that can literally be consumed any time in the day. You have it with a meal or without a meal, with a breakfast, lunch, dinner, empty stomach first thing in the morning or bedtime, it doesn't matter. But make sure you do introduce probiotic if you have any kind of underlying gut issues. Obviously, all these supplements should be consumed under, under the observation and prescription or consultation of your physician or a nutritionist who can prescribe it to you. Make sure you are consuming them at the right time. And here, these are all the practical tips I can give you for maximum absorption of these supplements. So here it is. Hope this is going to be helpful for you. And stay tuned on this Healthy Hindustan series for lots of more practical tips that are going to come your way.